Hello guys and welcome back for my iceberg video and this is the part 2 and remember last time I said the first iceberg has so many things missing well I found a new iceberg and this time is a bit more complete but I had some of my entry so where well, the loud voice will say the next entry you will probably say Lumet <laughs> for saying that it's my entry. So yeah, now it's time to dive into the second Sonic CD iceberg. Ready? Let's go, Let's go. everyone! Level 1 Metal Sonic is an updated version of Silver and Mega Sonic. Well, this is a popular belief because if you know, in the Sonic community, there is a sort of war about where Sonic CD should be. Many people, myself included, said Sonic CD is between Sonic 1 and 2, and most people say it's after Sonic and Knuckles. And one of these arguments is because Metal Sonic will be apparently an updated version of Silver and Maker Sonic. But I will get more into it in another video. Wow! Sally in Sonic CD! This is a detail that you can only see in the Sonic CD manual. Because instead of saying Amy, they said Princess Sally. And it's actually an error. Well, that's not really a new per se, but originally they intended to make a connection between the Sonic cartoon and the game. But since, uh, since the game and the cartoon aren't linked between uh, each other, so technically yes, this is an error. And so this is the end of the player one. Because, well, actually, there's not that much to add in the tip of the iceberg, so now let's go even deeper. Level 2 Track 2 Well, this is this. And we don't know what exactly is this music. It's the only that, it, that is the time travel prototype, but we are not sure of it. Salad plane. Well, it's referencing two things. One, the palm tree panic prototype, and two, the music accompanying it. Both are called salad plane. Not to be confused with another side plan who comes from a Sonic 1 hack. Actually, this name of this hack is a reference to this Pumpy Panic prototype. And one of my good friends, Blue Television Games, made a video of it. So go check that out and find my comments talking about it. Oh, and by the way, Sad Plan is the prototype team from Farm Panic Past. It, they are just different instruments, but Salpen is rework into Farm Panic Past. So don't confuse these two. They are different music with different instruments. Wow! Serious soundtracks are underused and underappreciated. Well, this is a sad truth. The US soundtracks are underused and underappreciated. Uh, because for some reason the boss team and game over team are creepier but have you ever heard Spider-Attack from Roman 2 or even 
Any gas gas team from Earthbound? I will get more into it in another video, but Gas gas team and spider attack are more creepier. Hell, I will put spider attack in this video just for let you know how creepy this music is. Hold out, programmer. Well, I'm not really sure what is it talking about, but apparently the only thing I could find is a special stage that you can find only while cheating or hacking and a message will pop up to sometime who said hold out programmer but other than that I have legit no idea wow. Busted panics. Actually if you pay attention in some bad news in Sonic City there's a chance that you saw a busted bad news. There's one in almost every stage. Actually, I remember seeing one in Pamchi Panic and Walkie Walk Bench and also Quark Squadron. But in the other stage, I do not remember seeing one. But by the way, it's also unknown why there is busted bad news in the game. And this is the only game that you can see a busted bad mix because in other some games there is not busted bad mix. And with that, this is the end of level 2. Time to go deeper. Level 3. Nineteen ninety-nine rings in Wacky Walk Bench. Actually, maybe it references the fact that if you go in the right setup, so you go in present, you get all the rings. You get in bad future, you get all the rings. You get in the past, you get all the rings plus the angel statue. Is it possible to get nineteen ninety-nine rings? But actually, I've seen nobody trying this, and. I don't know if this is even possible. But if you want me to try this, well, actually I can try to do 1999 Rings Challenge, but I'm not sure if this is possible or if this is a myth. Amy is from Real Planet. Actually, do you remember what I said in the last uh, iceberg video about the Real Planet inhabitant? Well, probably Amy is one of them. That could make sense because one her tarot card said that she will encounter his loved one there in real planet and two Amy is actually the first slash only character that we saw in real planet. So yeah, everything is point up that Amy is not from Mobius, but actually from Little Planet. Wow! Dear Tempest is missing in the ending. Well, do you remember when the last time I said about the ending in the last iceberg video? Well, actually, everyone is focused on R2 in the ending or even Star Speedway, but nobody and I say nobody talks about Tidal Tempest. It doesn't appear in the ending, and nobody talks about it. And that, like the fact that Stardust Speedway is at the end in the ending, well, it's also actually unknown why Tidal Tempest is missing. Bella theme. Well, the only thing that I can reference to is that. Some music are different in the beta and in the final game. For example, South Plan is now Pamchi Panic and the title theme is different. For example, we get Sonic Boom but in the prototype is an other thing. And also some of the beta theme are the Japanese and original music. So yeah. The bad ending is linked to Sonic 4 Episode 
Jutsu and the modern Sonic timeline. Well, do you remember about my explanation about both endings are canon? Well, I will focus more into it in another video, but basically, the good ending is linked to the classic Sonic events, and the bad ending is linked to the modern Sonic events. And more evidence is showcased in Sonic Generation and Sonic 4 Episode 2. Wow! The final boss theme, yes. Actually, if you play Sonic CD as it need to be with the US version, you should notice that the final boss theme is 100, 100% similar than the boss theme. And actually, there is almost nothing different between the boss team and the final boss team from the US version. So, why the final boss doesn't have his own music? And this is the end of level 3. Time to go even deeper beyond final level. Past Little Planet Map Actually, this is a bit a uh, thing because if you know, we saw Little Planet in three time present, good future and bad future and Little Planet doesn't even exist in the past well, actually the map doesn't exist so well, how the Little Planet past map should look like? This is Unknown. Act 2 of Stardust Speedway and Merring Madness in Mania are between present and bad future. This is probably a theory, but actually, if this is between present and bad future, this is normally the present because present can be also between present and future. So, what the heck is this? Because outside of present, there is nothing between present and future. So, no, I, I don't know, man. This, this is bizarre. I don't know. Mercury Mine. Actually, this is a joke. Because, well, as you know, there is two famous cut stage. Desert Dazzle and Relic Queens of R2 and people think there is a third one named Mercury Mine but this stage is just a joke this is a hoax guys this is not a real stage this is a hoax Peel out plus pose actually this is a interesting technique because if you do the super peel out and you press Pause, well, you are cancelling the super pillar and also the sound of the pillar to play in the pause menu because normally everything should stop but not the pillar sound and I think it's also worth with the speed dash I didn't try this but I will tell you if it will work with the spin dash So no. Well there is not a real love that we can see with the zone, but if you go in the past in every zone, you can probably see there is a love that we can make. For example, for the Stardust Speedway or Arky Road Bench, there is a love about the Tisk Castle and the Angel Statue, but other than that, I have nothing to say. Merring Madness is Arctica, is no? Hmm. Are you sure about that? Wow! Uh, nine. Well, I don't know if you did pay attention, but on the unused final boss, there is a A9 on, on it. And speak of that, every zone is air something. Pabshi Panic, air one. Relic Queens, air two. 
Crazy and Chaos, Air 3, Desert Tempest, Air 4, Quartz Quadrant, Air 5, Wacky Walk Bench, Air 6, Star Speedway, Air 7, Merlin Madness, Air 8, and finally we are Air 9, who should be Desert Desert. But hey, it's just a theory, a Sonic CD theory! The planet is alive! I don't know, maybe it's referencing the fact that in the good ending you can see the Sonic's face, but other than that, I'm not sure what he's talking about. Whoa! Tempest is L2! Honestly, this is my own theory because I have two theories about L2. One of them is based on the fan mail version of L2, aka Break Rings, but I will not talk about here today, but if you want to know, just let me know in the comments, but, but this theory is because according to the concept art of L2, it, look, it looks like a war level, and Total Tempest is the only war level in the game. So maybe the reason why L2 is in present in the game is because any Sonic game doesn't have two world level world. So maybe it explain why Tidal Tempest is also missing the ending because Tidal Tempest was L2 all along. But hey, it's also a theory, a Sonic CD theory. Wow! The second map in the boss and game over scene. Well, I don't know if you did pay attention to it, but in the game over and boss team, there is two loves. The first one, we can say this is Dr. Eggman, but the second one, who is, who is this guy? Who is this person? Just listen. There is a second love, but we don't know who this love happened Sneezing animation! If you know, Sonic has one unused animation. Well, not one, but he has so many unused animations, but one of them is him sneezing. And we don't really know why this animation is cut and where this animation should play. But apparently it should play before a boss fight. And fun fact, Sonic do sneeze in the intro of the game. So maybe when Sonic sneezes is when there is a danger. But we are not sure of it. Right. So the Speedway Bad Future wasn't going to be Meta Sonic's team. Well, first, this is a subject that Lord Danny bring out on the table. And on this video, you should definitely check that out, but for sure, Metal Sonic's team wasn't going to be Star Speedway by Future, because, well, first, when you fight Metal Sonic, the boss theme is playing, but in the final version, they decide to change the music. And by the way, I will get more into it in another video, but some Metal Sonic's team are more are better than the Star Speedway. Well, I do prefer the US version, but I think that mo some Metal Sonic team are better. Oh, yeah. The island in the intro is South Island. Well, I will get more into it in another video, but for sure, the island that you saw in the Sonic CD intro and also in the ending should be South Island. And also for short, the reason why it should be Stuff Island is because for some people, Sonic CD is between Sonic 1 and 2, so that could make sense why the island in the intro is Stuff Island because actually Stuff Island is so in Sonic 1, Sonic 1 Master System and Sonic 2 Master System, so that could make sense, but I will explain more in detail in another video. Alright. This time, I'm maybe done with the Sonic CD iceberg. Next time, for real, we will meet again in the Rayman iceberg. So yeah, thank you for watching, thanks for the <laughs> and 
We will see you another time. See ya, everyone! Ta-ta! Ta-ta.